Chinese love raising kids. All these annoying kids making all the noises, making all the sh sh shitty things. Chinese love that. <laughs> Chinese love that. I couldn't figure out why. I still don't know why. Why? Just why? And living in s such a environment, from my perspective, because I see it, I consciously know it, and it's annoying to me. I can't focus on my own project. I want to focus. Let's say, let's say I make music. Okay, I want to make this great track. So I need to focus. I mean, focus by sitting in the room, quiet. The whole day, sometimes not even eating, because I need my brain to focus on this one task in order to create great music. Okay, that's one example. Okay, let let's say I want to study. I want to focus on this topic, on the thing I learn for whole for the whole day, for the whole week, not being bothered. Okay, I don't want to get distracted, so I can focus in better and better and better. When I focus, I learn things. I learn difficult things. People don't need that. Chinese average Chinese don't need it. Okay. They, all they all they want is to get enough money and buy food, and have an iPhone. That's it. No, no wonder. No Chinese have become today's shape. For a reason, and people are the reason. They deserve all this. They did. De they deserve all this. This dic these dictatorship. Chinese is the most dumbed down, uh, degenerate example for the world. Just because Chinese are great. And when they great on the positive way, meanwhile they they can be it's possible to be great in the negative way. It's the duality of the universe. Chinese are great, but they can easily be misled to another path, which is greatly. Negative, and all I can see is just this group of hard-working or almost machine-like intelligent people being misleading to a negative path without noticing it. <sighs> I mean, I'm broke because I couldn't find. Not even close job to match my、um, passion of of love. I live for my passion. I do things because I love it. I enjoy it. That is not a common thing you will fa find in the society. L virtually, I'm one in a million. Can you tell? I don't have actually like it's just. I don't have actually friends that eat same thing. I that we can that we actually eat same thing. When I was in Thailand, there it used to have a like、um, vegan festival. It, it's it's kind of an a kind of thing, but at least、um, I was with a group of twenty plus people in the vegan restaurant. And we are all chatting, loving, and laughing, and just having enjoy our vegan food. I actually had twenty plus people. I actually have a handful of people. We used to go vegan restaurant every night, every six p.m. Enjoy vegan food. It just and we are all just normal friends, not even close good friends like like good mates or whatever. Not even that, and we can just. Basically, simply enjoy our life. In China, I don't even have one friend that have same diet or even close diet, so that we can have 
enjoy dinner every night. Things like simple things like that. You can you cannot get that. I can't get it. I love cycling. I don't even have one cycling friends. I mean, I have hundred plus of cycling friends. We used to ride bicycle together, and now where are they? They all gave up cycling because of they 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 all buy expensive housing and and raising families. Every one of them. Every one of them. I have a photo photography friend. I do photography. We don't photography together anymore, because she, uh, he, he was like he's like like working every day. Every time I, I call him, let's go to city and 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 taking photos, working. Let let's go let's go riding. He he does bicycle. Um, he rides bicycle occasionally. Let's go riding after uh, dinner, working. People Ch Chinese don't have hobby. Chinese hobby are sleeping, eating, and it's so boring. I, I I'm not mean that boring. It's it's another kind of boring. It's like you're living among a group of people, almost like have no soul. You just this like robots. That kind of. Boring. There's like nothing in them. What do you like? Um, um, sleep. <laughs> That's not a hobby. <laughs> uh, I don't know. No idea. What do I like? Hmm. Good question. That's basic. Um, average Chinese. What they are gonna be? <sighs> I don't have friends. I don't have. Friends that can have simple things, just all the simple things. Like we, we hang out every night. No, I don't have that. I don't have that. Look, I have a I have a neighbor, who came from Pakistan, who speak not very good English, but we still, like hang out. I sometimes I came to his room. Sometimes he came to my room. Actually, tonight. He cooked food and he brought to my room, and for so I can enjoy food for free. Just simple things like that. I actually couldn't have that in ch with Chinese. Don't get me wrong. Average Chinese had that with other average Chinese, <laughs> but they are Chinese in their way of thinking. Not my style. We probably close to your style, closer to your style. Comparing them, those Chinese, they love gathering together, have like barbecue, let's say, and and, and smoking. <laughs> every Chinese, not every Chinese, but most of Chinese male do smoke. A lot of them are heavy smoker. The Second annoying thing is the smoke. I can't have one day without inhaling smokes from come come came out from other smokers' lung. Even even inside my own room, the smoke just come through my windows. Unless you close all the windows all the time, and the smoke will slip through your door, even the door.